Joseph K4 says, I believe Luffy is never meant to dominate and defeat Kaido. If Luffy does, he would stand the clear favorite in every future battle, removing the underdog scheme he's always had. Kaido has to concede. Um, I mean, even if Kaido concedes, doesn't that mean Luffy won? I mean, I don't think you can argue, like, injuries or whatever, because no matter how you spin it, Luffy was way more heavily injured than Kaido uh, over the course of this battle. Uh, William Marshall says, like, I don't want to hear people being like, well, Kaido was hurt by the scabbards and shit. It's like, bitch, it's the scabbards. It's the, it's the fucking scabbards. Like, I don't... <laughs> oh, Kaido had to fight the scabbards. It's like, oh, yeah? Did he have to fight a bunch of Girl Scouts after that, too? Like, what the... <laughs> Oh no! And then did uh did the did Buggy's pirate fleet show up at his door right afterwards? Oh no! Someone posts a pa panel of like someone stabbing Kaido or something like that. It's like wow, <laughs> can't believe that happened. Instead, like you know who Luffy's been taking hits from throughout this fight? Kaido himself, fucking Kaido. Like what? Like <laughs> Kaido is stronger than anybody that's been injuring Kaido, right? So if Luffy's been getting injured by Kaido, then Luffy's injuries are factually, over the course of this fight, way, way, way more severe than Kaido's. Um, if anyone's handicapped over the course of this fight, it's Luffy. Because the real fair fight would be if you got Lu uh, Gear 5th Luffy fresh, 100% health from the start, versus Kaido fresh, 100% health at the star start, right? In reality, what we got for the final round was basically Gear 5th Luffy probably at like nearly 10% health, and Kaido probably had like 40% health. So Kaido actually came into an advan in on an advantage uh, at the start of the final round.